Hello everyone, welcome back to Peter Elita. This is the top 10 best America's Next Top Model photo shoots. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for more America's Next Top Model and other reality TV related videos. Number 10, Cycle 11, no makeup and dramatic makeup, photographed by Tyra. Among the no makeup photos, Samantha's is by far my favorites. I think it looks like a Calvin Klein ad. She really, really nailed this one. I love the the fact that there's Sapia. It almost looks effortless on her part. Marjorie, Marjorie, ma préférée. I believe they said this was her first photo. It was like a test shot where they were testing the lighting or something. And I am sure she had better photos than this. I, I, I don't think that this photo does her justice. It looks like a test shot. And... <clears throat> I'm not crazy about it. Among the dramatic makeup photos, Annalise is my favorite. I really like the composition, the lighting, her styling, the way they did her hair. It's a really, really good one. Number 9. Cycle 16, Moroccan Markets. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this wasn't the top of my list. This was another one where, doing research, a lot of people liked this shirt and what, and said they would like it included in the video. Not that I disagree. It might just be because I wasn't watching Cycle 16 the way I was watching earlier cycles, that it just was not at the, it just wasn't at the top of my head. But Britney's photo in particular has always stuck out to me. I've always, that's always been one of my favorite photos on Top Model. Britney in general, like the makeover they gave her, it really, took her to the stratosphere as far as her potential um, as a model. It, it, it really changed her entirely. I love her cover girl photo especially. Um, yeah, I just I think it's so beautiful. Like the way the hijab is just covering half her of her face. Like it's just stunning. Molly's photo was beautiful as well. Hannah, I didn't like the styling they gave her on this episode. Um, like I just didn't like the hairstyle they gave her, but it doesn't take away from the quality of this photo shoot. Number eight, cycle 13 scarves. So one of the things I've noticed is that in America's Next Top Model, the photo shoots that Tyra shoots are typically among the best. One of my favorite things about this shoot is in addition to it being really, really beautiful and editorial, I like that they did something different for each girl. But they even did uh, almost like a black and white sepia for Aaron. You know, it's there was so much more creative freedom, I feel like, in this photo shoot, which, which was really cool. I don't like when the photo shoots are extremely standardized, right? Like, every photo looks almost the same between the girls. They might have a different set, but the composition, everything other than that is the same. So to start with Kara, this girl had one of the most interesting faces this cycle. I love the juxtaposition between the whiteness of her skin and the pinkness of that scarf. I do think the editing is a little, I don't know if it's just this one, this file that I'm looking at, but it almost looks too retouched around her nose. I had never noticed that until now. And my favorite photo from this photo shoot is Laura's. She, this just looks like a renaissance painting to me. The only issue I have with this photo is the lace underwear showing. Like, I think that takes away from the photo a little bit. And I think it would have been cooler if they just had more of this fabric covering her there. Instead of just having nude underwear showing. Number 7. Cycle 16 Landfill Photos I watched Cycle 16, but I wasn't like a super fan of America's Next Top Model at that point, so I didn't watch the cycle like 10 times over <laughs> where it did with earlier cycles, but I still included Cycle 16. In fact, it's in this video multiple times because the shoots in that cycle were so up there. It was such a interesting photo shoot like if you look at that silver dress the silver colored dresses they were wearing almost made it look like a statue like such a interesting photo i do think the, the editing on the sky is a little bit intense like and that's just on nigel it's nothing about the concept of the shoot just because of the lighting on the models themselves it's clear that 
this was daylight, like it was taken during the day. So to see almost like a night sky, but behind them, it does kind of um, look a little too edited. Not in every photo. I think like Kasha's photo is not like that, but it's still a very um, beautiful photo shoot. I'm, I have no qualms about including this in the list. Number six. Cycle 16 Moroccan Desert Shoots. This is the third time that Cycle 16 is included in this uh, video. And I'm not surprised because America's Next Top Model really tried to make this a high fashion cycle and it worked. They got some of the best shoots that they had. These photos are just incredible. For one, I just want to preface and say I'm not too sure about the ethical concerns of, you know, using animals, wild animals for props. I don't even know if camels are considered wild or domesticated, but I, I'm just looking at the photo of Alexandra and it just doesn't sit right with me to see someone standing like that on a camel, like no disrespect to her. But yeah, I just, I don't know how ethical that is to have these camels in these photos, but it is really cool. I love that America's Next Top Model went to a non-Western country where you can see other types of countries and the other parts of the world that they had not gone to before. Not that they had not been to non-Western countries before. They had. I remember they went to Thailand and they went to they went to China in Cycle 9. So those were really interesting as well. But it was also really cool to see, um, you know, the Middle East, North Africa region. And I loved, I loved how they took so much advantage of the the country and the sceneries that Morocco has. It's such beautiful photos. I'm looking at Britney's right now and the way she used the outfit so cool even alexandra's like i know i don't like her standing on the camel like that but it's such an interesting photo like this is one of those photos i not only will you see in a magazine but you will stop and just look at it and like it will captivate you you know that's what i find so cool and um i think molly's photo is my favorite not i think i 100 percent think molly's photo is my favorite from this shoot i'm not crazy about her styling it almost looks like the bottom like the pants she's wearing almost looks like a like a cow print i don't even know what to make of that it certainly does not fit with where they are um beautiful nonetheless the way they put that bow in her hair it's almost like 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 dior like french dior you know cautious photo you know, I hate when the styling, like, is disproportionate between contestants. Like, look at Britney's styling and Alexandra's styling. Like, their outfits are just... Okay, I'm not sure about Alexandra's, but Britney's is just such a beautiful, beautiful outfit. I, I don't know. I just feel like Kasha got the worst styling this photo, and I'm not sure if she were eliminated this episode. I believe she was. Correct me if I'm wrong. But if she were um, eliminated this episode, I'm, you know, judging by how they styled her, and it, it's not too easy to come up with a good photo with styling like that. I don't like Hannah's photo that much. I just feel like she's so far away. You can barely see her. Number five, Cycle 12 Colors. I've been really excited to talk about this particular photo shoot because I think that America's Next Top Model tends to do really well with beauty shots. A lot of it looked very real in terms of what you would see in a magazine as opposed to some of the more gimmicky photo shoots which were much more, you know, they were never beauty shots. I'm going to try not to talk too much because I can go on and on and you know, this is one of my favorite photo shoots, personally. This is not just what the people voted for. This is also one of my own favorites. So, starting with Allison. Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful photo. It brings back so many memories just looking at this photo, which already tells you how much I just stared at these photos. When I was in middle school, like, I had, I had so much time on my hands, but this is such a beautiful photo. I do think Allison got very lucky with the way the powder fell on her face, fell onto her face. This little piece in her hair is also cool. Like, I like the colors there. It adds an interesting little touch of yellow and red. It's, it's definitely one of the best. So moving on to Amina. 
I love the color green. It's my favorite color, but I, I'm just not crazy about this photo. I don't think anything that I dislike about this is Amina's fault. I think it's just the photography in this case, like the composition, all of those things, the styling, too much like stuff in her hair, this little windy pieces, like in Allison's, it was so simple, you know, just one little strand going over her forehead. In Amina's, there's like one up here, like here, here, like it's just distracting. There's so much going on. Moving on to London. I have a bias for London because she's a Christian. I love that she's a Christian and that I'm a Christian. And I really, really um, love that she had the courage and had the conviction and the authenticity to talk about God on mainstream television when more often than not you don't hear about him they don't talk about him and she was so proud and so happy to share the word and to share uh the news about god and she also did positive things on the show which i believe reflects positively on god like when she gave up the bed that sandra was trying to take from celia i really really like this girl the photo itself, I think that the styling in this case was unfair. Compare, for example, the way the powder is distributed onto Allison's face versus London's. I know they were just blowing at it. Like, I'm not saying it was done intentionally. It's just one of the tricky things about something like that. It, it can fall in any way. Yeah, like they really didn't do a good job. And, and, and who chose this color anyway? First off, this isn't even blue. This is purple. And and it's just, they, they need, it looks so bad. Like they also put blue lipstick. It looks like on her, like in which universe was blue lipstick attractive? They didn't put green lipstick on Amina or, or white lipstick on Sandra. I mean, it's like, what is this? If you're going to do it, then do it to everyone. Put the green lipstick on Amina, yellow lipstick on Tiana. Like, it's just, this is why I think it was bad styling. Number four, cycle four African landscapes. This is one of the most beautiful photo shoots, I think, in the history of America's Next Top Model, particularly in terms of nature. There weren't a lot of nature photo shoots, but this is one of them, and it really is stunning. I love that. All of the photos are set at the same spot, at the same rock, but they all look so different because the photographer and the editing that they did matched the styling for each particular girl. For example, in Christina's, there's more leaves, so they made it a little bit more blue and green, whereas in Britney's, there's more mud, so they made it more gray and brown. I would say my favorite from this shoot is... Britney's her look her pose it matches very well with the landscape that they're in I can see why this is a fan favorite it's a beautiful photo shoot I'm not crazy about the styling on Kenya this leaf that they attach to her leg is I don't know it looks a little odd in my opinion it's not the most flattering Wow, I love the graininess. I never noticed the graininess of these photos. I almost imagine if they did a little bit more of a wide shot, like zoomed out even more just to show more of that waterfall and that background. Think about like, for example, Cycle 12, the bird photo shoots. Like, remember how Allison's photo was so zoomed out, you could really see the nest that she was sitting in and you can see the trees same with amina's photo you could see so much of the landscape if they had done a little bit more of that it, it would have done it, it would have really elevated these photos by showcasing this beautiful beautiful background even more number three cycle five country couture well, this is one of the first photo shoots I ever saw on the show, and it's one of the reasons I really fell in love with America's Next Top Model and became a big fan of it. The photos were just so beautiful. Like, it was nothing over dramatic. It was nothing gimmicky. It was very editorial and something you would see in a real fashion shoot. Just going through the photos, a few of the shots that really stick out to me are Cassandra's. Um, other than the no neck, this was really one of the best photos that week. Um, 
Side note about Cassandra, I know that her haircut was not as short as Tyra wanted. I don't know how that would have looked on Cassandra. I feel like the length that it was at here was really beautiful. I agree that the short hair suits her better than the long hair. I feel like if she had gone shorter to the length that Tyra originally wanted, I don't know if it would have looked as good. Also, Nicole's photo is really nice. It does look... I remember really falling in love with this particular photo when I when the cycle was airing. Looking back at it now, I love what Nicole is doing, but the outfit itself, I don't know why I thought the outfit was so cool when I was younger. Looking at it now, it's a little bit costumey in my opinion. Something about the dress, like the ends of the dress almost looking like kind of strandy at the ends. I don't really like it. And the boots, it is kind of a little bit pointy, um, which adds to that costumey look, which isn't as chic as some of the other outfits on this shoot. For example, Nick. This outfit was easily the best. I mean, this photo was the best this week, I think. The outfit is by far the best outfit on the whole shoot. Like, it's just so beautiful. The way they styled Nick on top of that, like the way they styled her hair with that top hat, it's just stunning. What a stunning photo. Number two, Cycle 11 Windmills. So I specifically chose this one because of Marjorie's photo. This is my favorite photo in America's Next Top Model history. I just think it's stunning. It's simplicity at its best, but also high fashion. Like, I know some people were saying, the judges were saying that. Some may say she's just standing there, but there is certain high fashion element to it, which makes it such a beautiful editorial photo. And this shoot in general was a very nice one with um, the sets, like where they were with the windmills. And I love that. These are like traditional Dutch windmills. I love that they actually use the scenery of the Netherlands. And because, I mean, look at windmills in the world. Like most windmills don't look like this, the modern windmills. So I love that they took advantage of the country they're in and found these kinds of beautiful traditional Dutch windmills. It's a really stunning photo shoot. Marjorie's is really nice. I know the judges really loved Annelise. And I give her a lot of credit for, you know, how hard it must have been to get a photo like this. I can see her effort, and it really is a beautiful photo. I just personally am not a big fan of that photo. In fact, I'm not a big fan of a couple of the photos that came from this week, just because it's a little bit too intense for me with the makeup. This is a good example of it crossing that boundary from high fashion to costumey. Marjorie's has retained the high fashion look to it, whereas, for example, McKee and Annalise as great as their modeling is, the styling made it a little too intense and it's almost going into like Halloween-y, like oh, that kind of look to me. Samantha's is beautiful too. I'm not a big fan of the composition on the photo. Maybe if they did a landscape on um, Samantha's, I would have liked it more. And another really cool thing is those Dutch, those wooden uh, clogs, the Dutch clogs. I love that they style them in those like Oh, it's so beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And I love that they're actually like real wood and wood colored as well. Like it's not painted or anything. Number one, Cycle 10 Castle Couturier photos. Oh my gosh, this photo shoot was my favorite photo shoot in the history of the show. Like I am obsessed with this photo shoot. It looks like Renaissance paintings, literally. Like it's so chic. Everything from the styling to the modeling to the the sets where they are, that castle that they're in. Like it's just such a chic, chic photo shoot. Like just looking like the history of America's Next Top Model and looking at all the photo shoots they've done. With all due respect to the show, like I know after a while you can only come up with so many interesting ideas. Um, that explains why some of the photo shoots don't really compare to photo shoots like this. Like compare, for example, Cycle 7 skydiving photo shoot. Compare that to this. Like that looked so reality TV, whereas this literally looks like something from a high fashion magazine. I do think the vignette effect, that dark shadow effect that goes from around the sides of the photos. I do think that one's a little intense and it does darken the photos a little bit. Actually, I think the photos might have just been dark already. Um, I just think that vignette was a little bit too intense. 
but it's still such a beautiful photo shoot. For example, looking at Anya's close-up, just the juxtaposition between the black dress and the the sides of her hair, it's black and it randomly is lavender colored. It could have so easily looked costumey, but it doesn't. It's so chic, like it's done so well. Fatima, look at Fatima's dress, like this could have looked like such a costumey gimmicky look. Just look at, for example, how dramatic the outfit is. And then look at how dramatic the makeup is and how dramatic the hair is. If this were done even a little bit incorrectly, it would have looked like a costume. It was done so beautifully that it just looks like straight high fashion. Like, I'm so impressed with this photo shoot. And I, I know this is one of the favorite shoots of a lot of people um, in America's Next Top Model history. So I'm not saying this shoot is underrated. But I don't think it receives the amount of praise it deserves because this is an exceptional shoot. And that is all. That was the top 10 best America's Next Top Model photo shoots. Both our opinion and also some input from online voters as well. Make sure to comment your thoughts. Did you disagree with the list? Are there any photo shoots we might have missed that you would have liked to have seen? Make sure to comment your ideas and let us know. And make sure to subscribe as well. We will be making more videos like this in the future, including the top 10 worst America's Next Top Model photo shoots in the near future. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.